So it's going to be the Wetlands DLC or the Wetlands Animal Pack and before I keep on talking through this pack and we're gonna analyze the trailer in detail, let me just play the short trailer for you for a second and then we're going to talk about the trailer in detail. All right, so let's kick things off again with the trailer. I'm gonna mute the trailer real quick and we are going to have a look at that. So the trailer starts actually with the potentially most requested animals, uh, animal in this entire universe in Planet Zoo and that is the Capybara. Now, this animal um, is very likely to take bath in uh, the water and just enjoy its time also in hot water with like, some oranges in and stuff. Uh, by the way, wishing that we see something like enrichment with that that would be uh, absolutely amazing um but yeah so it makes a whole bunch of sense that the um, macaques received that you know bathing um behavior so it was only uh, awaited to see the capybara here you can see the furry little friend in detail now this is the first little image we are going to stop at um there is obviously since this is an animal pack, we are not likely to see any new kind of uh, foliage or anything. Sometimes they do give us some new path or whatever, um, but this time around I highly doubt that there is anything else in here. You can see from this screen, um, if I'm not completely wrong, and I did already have one go at it, there is nothing new in here. Most of the things we got recently, also with these new water lilies and stuff and everything else you do already know. This is kind of a clever usage down here of some planks and stuff. Uh, no hints with the clothing of people either, so um, I guess we already know about most of the changes from the free update. Now, um, there are a couple of things. Obviously, this, this is a beautiful shot of one of the most surprising animals. I to say in this pack um the platypus and, and by the way funny funny side note uh, the germans do literally translated the german name of the platypus is beak animal and we call it schnabel here it's kind of weak it's, it's 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 weird so as if someone was just like standing there what, what, what's that thing called well that's just we don't have a name left let's call it what it looks like it's like a beak animal um but yeah obviously the platypus is a very very welcome addition to the game uh here let me just oh my god let me just go back a little um where's this shot there you go this is some 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 beautiful shot over here this is really cool now you can see the platypus i love it we have a new wonderful animal for deep diving um including um some others this is so so cool and i'm very much looking forward to what this pack is going to deliver i really really hope so that um we also see quite a lot new animations but you know um we are going to talk about that at the end of the video a bit more of my opinion on that which um potentially you guys are a bit as more excited for than last time around since my video i released yesterday i've got some thoughts to it but yeah let's go further away because that is a shot of the platypus this is also another very interesting shot right over here we can see the kp bower here on the left hand side and i love the fact that you can already tell from this shot that there is um, a lot of color variations in them which uh, i do love uh, quite a lot there is unfortunately somewhere over here we also may see some other animals of this pack that they haven't had prominent in the shot um, but you can already tell from this animal print over here this is the asian small clawed otter you can also see like a little platypus thing uh, in the back here very nice indeed there is the spectacle uh, caiman you can see the buffalo here in the back and this looks to be like a crane over here so a um, very nice little hinting uh, to these animals but unfortunately there's not more you can also see there are some can we actually as i can't really tell that much what is going on in there it could be the buffalo so that this is uh the um you know um uh, how's it called again? The education board, my god, uh, is there, but yeah. Let's go further in uh, and not waste too much time on this shot because they can see um, the horns of the buffalo uh, peeking out of the water. Um, you can also tell that they did a good job on this this specific park over here. Look at the baby capybara. They look so, so cute. I do love them. They look really cute. And then this shot over here shows 
what this entire pack um, will benefit from and that is the change of uh, the mist and stuff uh, I think it looks really gorgeous and that is the I forgot the name about this one I think it's the Neil uh, thingy um, but yeah it's kind of an antelope um, animal which uh, it's also cool one and here you got it the Asian small qu uh, clawed otter just peeking out and in the water a really really nice little shot of it look at that this is this is a beautiful beautiful shot and it looks to be like a little bit of a different animation which I'm a big fan of there you go another wonderful little curl of the platypus and that's it already merely 30 seconds of a uh, wonderful animal uh, footage over here but now let's jump over to the screenshots they do also show some nice little details all right so here we are with uh, the wonderful screenshots and we're gonna start this thing off with uh, the buffalo so this is uh, this is actually um the wild water buffalo it's kind of a beautiful animal if you ask me i had a different picture in mind but uh, this one looks to be uh, very nice also in terms of a very short furry uh, skin it's really cool also really interesting horns and stuff um i i think this is one of the most cow like animals we've hadn't had them in a long long time um to enlarge the roster of these animals really really cool thing about this then we have another lovely shot obviously of our friend the capybara look at that look at the eyes look at everything yeah it's going to be interesting to see if they add specific enrichment pieces but um i'm quite certain the hint with the shower in the live stream uh, on monday gave us a little hint that this might actually be part of it um then we also see some Something really interesting here. Um, these are definitely some uh, more interesting animals when it comes to being not that shy, you know, that guests can interact with them and uh, make like walk in habitats, which is a huge thing. Uh, yet another animal that guests can visit inside of the habitat without them getting too stressed. Also, a very welcome addition. Then we have just this wonderful shot here of the platypus. Um, lovely one. I, I really do like how this one looks. Um, and then also we have this overview shot shot um, which is going to show us i guess it's kind of the maybe the challenge level or something like that there's unfortunately nothing else to really spot in here um other than this seems to be maybe even the park that they filmed the trailer in um but yeah so it's the wetland dlc um that leaves us with um the, the full list first of all before we end this um uh, talk and then we go into my conclusion so gonna keep this entire video today briefly uh, briefly briefly short very short um now first thing first um we are going to get the KB Barra. You know, this is the one that everyone asks for. But also, uh, another pretty, pretty interesting animal that everyone asked for uh, quite a while ago, and then I don't know why I forgot, but um, the next thing is the platypus. Then we get the um, Asian small clawed otter, which I am super hyped about. The stealthy spectacle caiman, as I said, the wild water buffalo, the red crowned crane, the Nile lechery, lecher, lechery. I, don't, I have no idea how to pronounce that thing, the antelope kind of thing. Um, and the um, Danube crest newt, uh, which is a tiny animal it is uh, one of the smallest uh, smallest exhibit animals that we have i guess maybe even the smallest uh, in total uh, but it is tiny um yeah so this is the full list now let's go to another wonderful shot i want to end this on this one here the kb barra because you know that's the star of the show however star of the show is a good segue um yesterday i've said that i'm a little bit worried about this animal pack i'm still worried for the for the sake of the future pathway that frontier decided to put planet zoo on um however it it now is set in stone that we always have a switch between five plus pieces and eight animals like we have the animal pack and then we've got a pack with pieces now i do agree to a lot of comments yesterday that they said well maybe the animal pack is not the right moment to introduce a new mechanic because a lot of new pieces and stuff have to come with it um and I'm, I'm really putting my hopes into that now. But I also said in my video yesterday that it's very important to be fair and judge things as, you know, the things that they are. And in this specific case, I need to judge this pack as it is an animal pack. You know, whether I want to have birds or not, that doesn't count because you have to judge the pack the way it is for the money you have to pay, what you get. And this is actually my favorite animal pack to be um 
It is very much on par with the North American Animal Pack, but it is slightly above for me, for some very specific reasons. I think the roster of animals this time around is very, very nice, because it's not connected to a certain region, it's not connected to a certain continent, it is connected to a biome. And this is very interesting, and I think this is also very much um, something positive for the future. That means that Frontier now has gone from all the continents towards a new certain area also for the animal packs. And that, you know, that just kind of keeps me very hopeful for the future, because I think this is the right way to go. Now, as we have basically, you know, done everything, um, and if this is the if, if this is the rule to be followed, the next pack, including pieces, might not be connected to a continent, but to a species, who knows, um, or a function or whatnot. So that could be cool. But back to this pack, I think the roster of animals is really cool. We've got some we've got some semi-aquatic animals, um, we've got some very aquatic animals with the platypus. I mean, they can get to land, but they're really a lot more in the water, just as the otter. Then we have the capybara as the as the fan favorite, so to say. We have a buffalo, which is a very welcome addition. We haven't had those types of animals in a long, long time. And the same goes for the crane. And um, I have a certain feeling what this could be about, but also I love the fact that we now have semi-aquatic animals, antelope and buffalo type of things, and a bird, uh, even though it is, again, a more like ground hogged um, bird type, but it's another very good one for wetland um, habitats that you can do. So really pair them with flamingos, for example, you know, that is really, really cool. And I think the roster um, that this, this pack brings is really good in terms of enlarging um, our experience. However, I set this on top of the list only if the enrichment items are going to be great. I have a feeling that we can be pleased with some cool enrichment items. Remember, we got this really cool hammock thing uh, for the uh, uh, Southeast, um, uh, Southeast Asian animals. Um, so I'm really hoping that we get some really cool stuff for them as well, which, which is going to leverage uh, the most out of these animals as well. I hope the otter is receiving a new thing that also our other otter can use. I really do hope that the platypus is getting a unique thing and obviously, the capybara needs some oranges as well. <laughs> um, that would be amazing. But um, yeah, that should be it um, for this video. I really hope you found this interesting um, following on my yes uh, video from yesterday. Um, I'm not all that negative that some people might have thought, but um, I just, you know, I just wanted to talk about what I think this could be. But this, the pack is surprising. I really thought it's going to be a South America um, tropical kind of pack. And now uh, the wetlands pack really got me surprised and hooked, to be honest. And I'm really hoping that it can keep up to this um, tiny, tiny little hype that is growing inside of me. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And also, it is the perfect DLC for our Lost Aqualand. Of course it is. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys are happy. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think about these animals. Animals. Is there any animal kind of from wetland that you are missing out on? What's your favorite animal from this pack and what got you most surprised? So thank you so much as always. If you like the content and want to see more, please consider subscribing. As always, it kind of helps me out and so on. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Have a good time and I talk to you in the next one. Stay safe. Goodbye.